Okay, so this message is coming from a concerned parent. One concerned parent to all the other concerned parents. So I have a big issue with the way that the schools are handling the end of the year. So last week, my daughter's school sent us an email saying that, okay, we're gonna open up the schools. We have two days we're gonna be open for everyone to come and grab their personal belongings or drop off any of the school's uh, belongings. So library books, any Kindles or any of that sort of technology stuff. So my daughter's in JK, so she was really excited because it was gonna give her an opportunity to see her classroom one last time and see her teacher. So she made some cards, we bought some gifts, and we followed the protocol that was in the email um, for the visit to the school. So we had to wear a mask, wait, wait outside, etc. So yesterday, we got dressed up. Well, she got dressed up. Um, you know, we went to the school, we followed the protocol, and we got in the school, and her teacher wasn't there. Actually, none of her teachers were, were there. So she has three teachers, none of them were there. So it was another teacher from a different grade handing out her belongings. So we, of course, had our gifts and our cards. And I asked the teacher, well, are any of my daughter's teachers here? And she said, no, I, I, they're not here. Um, they'll probably be here at some point today. I don't know what their schedule's like. So of course I was a little taken back because we had an appointment time to come and do this. So my daughter had the gifts and I asked the teacher, well, what do, what do we do with these gifts then and these cards? So the teacher said, you know, I'll take them, I'll put them in the staff room for the teachers. So we did that. And when we left, <clears throat> I was actually quite upset. I was really disappointed and so was my daughter because we thought we were gonna have the opportunity to see her teachers one last time and we didn't. So when we left, I dropped her off, um, I went into work and I called the school. I called the principal because these students have been off of school since March 13th. They have not seen their teachers. They have not seen their, their friends. They have not seen their classroom for the last, what, March, April, May, June, three months, over three months, and they're not going to. So my daughter's teacher, she, this was a position she was filling in for another teacher who was on mat leave. She is never going to see this teacher again. And she needs that closure to say thank you and goodbye. So I know this is, has nothing to do with the teachers. This is strictly either the school itself or the Ministry of Education. So my question is to Stephen Lecce, Lecce sorry, Stephen Lecce. What are you doing to help these children and their mental health with the end of the school year? Because my daughter has no closure for her kindergarten year. All she needs is to see her teacher, say thank you and goodbye. And she has not had that opportunity. I called the principal of her school. The principal did not call me back. The principal sent out a quick email last night uh, addressing the protocol for the visit and then added it a line not to bring gifts for teachers. So she never called me back. She just wrote this email. Um, <clears throat> my daughter's teacher called me and said, you know, I'm sorry, I would have really loved to see Val uh, your daughter and you, but unfortunately, that's just not the way that the school is set up right now. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist to give the opportunity for these students to see their teacher one last time. And my question is, who's making these judgment calls? Because we're all in this together, yet our children's mental health is being affected and they're not getting closure for their school year. This is a big problem to me. If you guys are dealing with this issue in your school, please share this video because we need answers and we need to protect our children's mental health. So Stephen Lecce, can you help us out here and let us know what we're supposed to do as parents, concerned parents? Thank you.